So what you saw there was a demo of me using effects on the F1 to break apart the track into bass, kick, and the mids and the trebles, and just applying effects to the trebles so, uh, and the mids. So let's uh, show you how I did that. So in deck B, I have a track ready to go. The remix deck is set so that I will capture from deck B. I've got the quantize level here set to one beat, so I can launch every one beat. And let's go and capture some stuff here. So I actually have a cue point set up. I want to capture eight beats here. So I can use the F1 here, uh, or I can use the buttons right here. I'm just going to capture uh, those eight right there on the S4. So in here I now have eight beats. Okay, now I'm gonna grab something else. I have a vocal here. So I'm gonna capture that and I'm gonna put that vocal there. Okay, I'm gonna capture eight from from here. So I have eight in there, and then I'm going to capture actually this first section right here. So I'm just going to capture eight from there as well and pop that in there. Okay, so now what do we have set up in here? We have this, we have the bass, and we've got some kind of mid sounds, and then vocals. So now they're all in there, we want to only apply effects to these top two sections. So if I hold shift, we can see that uh, we're going to turn the key lock on so they all sound in pitch with the, with the original on deck B. I'm just going to stop them. And then I'm going to put the, the effects only on these two channels. Okay, And then that will only apply the effects onto those two channels. Now in effects unit 2 up here, I actually have a reverb, gator, and a beat masher all set up. So I'm going to turn those down to zero, and uh, we'll have a listen to what it sounds like here. So let's start them all off at the same time here. Okay, so grab the turn the effect, dry wet up, and we'll turn. On. So the effect is only applied to these top two. So you'll notice that the bass and the kick keep going in the background. Yeah. 
And that's how you apply effects to only two of the rows of cells in the remix step. You can always turn them off. So let's hear what it would have sounded like if the effects on all of them, we end up losing the beats. So that's how we apply effects to just two channels or you know whatever number of channels you'd like to in the remix deck itself. Just allows you to break apart the tracks um, into bass, mid, treble and just apply effects to the top end. So um, it sounds a lot better than muddying up the track and uh, taking the low end and applying effects to low end as well. So great way to just start playing with the, the highs and the mids in a track and just applying effects to that. Thank <laughs> you.